you can call me Cliff. So, today I have a wind tunnel in Minecraft. You know, in case you ever want to test out sciencey stuff. So, turn it on. Um, actually, I'll, I'm going to go into uh, adventure mode first. And then turn it on. And as you can see, I am being pushed backwards. I'm being blown out of the wind tunnel. Now, sprinting does n not help. Oop. Um, see? I just get pushed back farther. Shifting does help a little bit, but when I jump, I go back much farther because I get blasted with air. I don't have much friction. But as you can see, I just put on my iron boots, which cause me to be rooted enough to the ground that I can get back in. Alright, so it doesn't just work with me. I'm going to go back into creative mode. And now I can take off my iron boots. I'm going to get some... I got some materials. So as you can see, if I throw ions on the ground, they're relatively small and light, so they go zipping backwards. Now if I... I can show you um, that if I spawn a creeper, it'll also go backwards. If I spawn a creeper and throw some eggs on the ground, the eggs will go backward much faster than the creeper because they're much lighter. Now, Eyes of Ender and Ender Pearls would work, but I can't... I'm not in uh, adventure or survival mode. Um, as you can see, the balls of XP and the XP orbs are flying backwards. And now, um, now f let me show you some arrows. Uh, so I've got to get a dispenser for this and set up a clock. So this will take a little while for me to get all of this stuff. So I need a dispenser. I need arrows. I need a comparator, a redstone torch, um, redstone. Yeah. So I'll set up a quick demonstration of how arrows work. So here's a redstone clock and Here's the dispenser there. And now I'll fill it with arrows. And as you can see, it's shooting arrows upward. And some of the arrows are going backwards a little bit, but not that much because they're relatively small. And not much air hits them. And once they get stuck in the top, they don't go backwards at all. Well, this is boring. Let's turn up the high power. Um, that's a lot of lag. <laughs> okay. Okay, didn't have this much lag when I tried it earlier. Uh, I think I may have to restart my Minecraft. Yeah, so I'll do that and uh, get back to you in a little while. Um, a little while for me, just a couple seconds for you. <coughs> um, so yeah. Alright, I'm back. My Minecraft essentially crashed. Um, I turned down my video settings a bit, so and I also removed all the arrows in the ceiling. So let's try it now. Um, I have my iron boots on. They turn it on. And as you can see, I'm going backwards even though I have the iron boots on. And there are some particle effects at my feet because I'm digging into the ground. And also, the levers have been blown backwards. That's how strong the wind is in here. Um, and if I shoot an arrow into the ground, you'll see there's particle effects, and the arrow will actually move backwards some. So, if I can just get to the door here, against this wind, 
then I can shut this down. Alright. Think I'll be able to make it. Just flick this lever. Door opens. Still being blown backwards. Even in here I'm being blown backwards. Um, I could change that by decide um, I needed to make this video. So... Yeah, yeah, blown outside of the building. Um, that I'll probably change that sometime. Um, now just turn this off by pressing this button. All right, I'm good. Now to show you how this works. So, first of all, the um. I'll fix that stuff. First of all, the uh, low power setting. It turns on this stuff, uh, which is also turned on by the high power setting, activating this clock, which first will give all arrows that are in the ground a ground score of 1, so that I can track them. It'll then uh, set all the boot score of all players to zero, and set the boot score of all players that are wearing iron boots to one. And it'll then give all players wearing iron boots a slowness effect. Now there is also this slightly slower clock, and it alternates between activating these six commands which teleport all entities that are not players one block that way um, teleport all arrows uh, 0.5 blocks that way so they don't go as far and teleports all arrows that are in the ground another 0.5 blocks that way so their motion is completely cancelled out So then it uh, sets the jump score, the shift score, and the sprint score of all players to zero so that it makes sure it's reset if they stop shifting. Then it also activates these commands one tick later, which teleport all items, snowballs, which I didn't show you, Thrown Ender Pearls, which I didn't show you because I'm not in survival. Eyes of Ender, which I can't show you because I don't have a stronghold in this world. Uh, thrown XP Bottles. Thrown Potions, which I didn't show you. And the XP Orbs. It teleports all of them backwards one more in addition to the old non-player entities. So they go faster than mobs. So then it also activates these four commands, which teleports any player that is jumping. Um, for, well, this one teleports or it's all players that are not wearing iron boots back two blocks, as long as they're in adventure mode, which is why I wasn't being teleported back once I went to creative. So then it also teleports players wearing boots back, I mean, not boots, who are jumping backwards one, it teleports players who are sprinting backwards two extra, and it um, teleports players who are shifting uh, 1.5 blocks forward so they don't move as far. So then, the um, faster, the stronger setting activates all of those but also activates uh, this which activates this clock which activates these two commands this one um, summons the critical hit particle at all arrows stuck in the ground and this one does the same thing at all players wearing iron boots it also activates this much slower clock 
And every time this torch turns on here, then it'll first activate this, which clones all blocks within there over to there, and then four ticks later, four redstone ticks later, it activates this one, which clones them back one block forward, and also this one, which sets air over there. This is why the levers went backwards. Um, now this um, teleports all players wearing boots one block, and uh, that summons footstep particles at them. And then also when that torch turns off, four ticks after that, uh, it does the same thing for the players wearing iron boots as these commands did. Teleporting them backwards and summoning footstep particles. And then how the door works is just a simple piston door with some extra command blocks because I couldn't fit one of the pistons in the way I have this set up. Um, and also some command blocks for wireless redstone for closing the door. And it also has this which sets your game mode to 1 so if you were opening the door in uh, adventure mode then it would stop the system except for the one teleporting you backwards if you're wearing boots. Well that's about it. Thanks for watching. Stay crafty.